the name of this segment is push repackage release now we're going to give you guys three wrestlers and you're going to decide if you were the booker for the promotion that they worked for or who are you going to push who are you going to repackage and who are you going to release and for the very first edition of push repackage release we are going to discuss the shield this is charlie has made fun of me very much for not being able to leave the memories alone with the shield and shit you know it's kind of funny because now he can't leave the memories alone either so hey, can uh, i, yeah, can I tell you guys gonna... something i have a poster what? of the shield and after rollins did what he did i put a little sticky note over his face and it's still there <laughs> <laughs> just because i can't leave the memories alone either it's like what the hell man you killed the shield <laughs> so great that you're on the show now like you fit right in so well, i've um, been here because I'm Evan, of course. Of course. Like, that's why I picked you. That's why you are on the very first episode of PWF Empire Live. You right? got... I, I, hate I just sense that you. about you. I hate you. You might just hate me a little more after this is over with. I guess we'll... I, I know the people in the chat are going to hate me. Because, you know, they like Dean Ambrose. Oh, is that why you're choosing the... You must be choosing to push him, then. You guys are going to hate me. <laughs> Should I just did spoil it, but... Whatever. We'll, rewind. So... It's completely up in the air who I'm going to choose. Um, Evan, I want to go to you first. So the shield, push, repackage, release. Well, you guys are not going to like what I pick. <laughs> I, I don't I, know. I guess we'll see. I'm, I, I'm intrigued. No, you're not. Well, okay. <laughs> so, so, I mean, obviously I have to say the caveat of no one wants to fire any of these guys. They're all great. Um, see, but... this is what's so good about it because you're forced <laughs> yeah. to fire one of them. Yeah, if I had to choose, I would I would have to release Seth Rollins. <laughs> and that that's really yeah, that's for a number of reasons. Because first of all, I don't want to release Ambrose because I I really desperately want to see him reach his potential, and I don't want to release Reigns because sort of this for the same reason. Seth Rollins, uh, he's he's really good. He's really great. He's one of the best on the roster. It's just that he's gotten. I feel like he's gotten to the main event. He's plateaued and. I could do without Seth Rollins, and that's sort of my subjective bias. I've never been a huge Seth Rollins fan. I, I'll never say anything bad about his skills. I think he's really great in the ring. He's pretty good on the mic. You know, people used to knock his mic skills, but I think he's he's decent on the mic. Um, he's a great heel, like I said. I'm sure he'd be a great babyface again. But I just he's the one I could do without. You know, as for the other two, um, I I wouldn't push Ambrose just yet. I don't think he's ready for that. So I guess that leaves Reigns. I'm not sure I necessarily think Reigns is ready for it either, but I think Reigns, you you already pushed that, you already pulled that trigger. He was in the main event of WrestleMania. I'm not a fan of have someone main event WrestleMania and then have them go downhill. I think if you're gonna put someone in, at WrestleMania, you gotta honor that and then you gotta make him a star. So I say push Reigns. I'd like to see him get built up for the next WrestleMania main event. I wouldn't mind seeing him in the main event of WrestleMania 32. Um, and I'm going to say repackage Ambrose because I think his whole character is just not working right now. I, went, I already went on my rant about how heel Ambrose with a different persona would be tremendous. And so I really want to see that. And I guess that's my, that's my answer to that dilemma. Duke. All right. So as you know, being an Iowa guy, I have a little bit of a special bond with Seth Rollins and kind of being from the same area and everything. So I... I guess I want to push Seth Rollins, and I mean. Yeah, I know all three. Of you by, guys got to stick together, right? By, yeah, all three of us. And then I guess just kind of because it's more of a WWE look, I'd want to repackage Reigns. But that's not what I'm gonna do because honestly, I have to release Seth Rollins, and I have to repackage Dean Ambrose. Because I do want to see a Dean Ambrose Roman Reigns feud, and I think Dean Ambrose being repackaged could push both guys there. Because you could repackage him and send him at Reigns, and then both of those guys could be some fucking stars and could make big money for the company. And honestly, like he said, Seth Rollins has reached the top, and now at least like he's been a world champion. How much better can he get and how much, if I'm looking at it, how much more merch is this guy going to move for me as opposed to a Dean Ambrose who hasn't, or a Roman Reigns who we're potentially trying to build as that next guy slash he could be that guy. So if we're able to do it organically, I think these guys offer me more money 
than Seth Rollins does over here, having already been there. I thought you said you were sticking together. Is this what you call sticking together? <laughs> eh. Oh well. He can go work for uh, he can, he can go work for like a second rate company like Cunny or B company. Uh, well, I think they call well, it Lucha it. Underground. <laughs> Don't do not go there. You will not throw shade at Lucha Underground on any program that I'm a part of. Okay, I I, I, will, I will cut you. Uh, Rollins would just uh, hit Duke fucking, in the, in the back of the, with a steel chair. You know, <laughs> you don't want to be loyal to that guy. <laughs> it, it was a preemptive thing on uh, Duke's part. He's like, shit, I know he's going to turn on me, so I'm going to turn on him. So here's how things are going for me. I am uh, push repackage release. I am going to release Dean Ambrose because I honestly think out of all three guys, he has the most uh, basic move set, And I've seen from the other guys, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins, they're able to rise to the occasion when they get into um, – big time matches in WWE and I haven't been able to see uh, Dean Ambrose be able to rise to the occasion. The only really good matches that I've seen from him in WWE have been with Seth Rollins or when he was in the Shield. As much as people talk crap about Roman Reigns and his entering ability, I've seen Roman Reigns be able to work with big guys like Brock Lesnar, uh, Sheamus. I've seen him be able to work with smaller guys like uh, Kofi Kingston. Uh, Daniel Bryan had a great match with him at... Um, Fast lane with Dean Ambrose. I don't see that kind of versatility in here in him. So I would go ahead and release Dean Ambrose. Um, I would push Seth Rollins simply because I have greater ambitions for Roman Reigns. What I would like to do with Roman Reigns. Speaking of Lucha Underground, there's a guy running around on Lucha Underground. Um, I'm I'm like behind on episodes, so I don't know what's going on with him right now. But there's this guy named Pentagon Jr. He just goes around and uh, he'll compete in a match with you, he'll defeat you in that match, and then he'll just break your fucking arm. Just a relentless beast, just completely unhinged. And I think that there's a lot of money to be made in booking Roman Reigns in that way, where he doesn't even have to talk much. He can just go out there, compete in a match, have him a string of jobbers or, uh, you know, uh, local jobbers, lower mid-carders, whatever you want it to be. Just have Roman Reigns go out there, breaking motherfuckers in half week after week after week and that is money just printing money dollar after dollar yeah so that's my whole thing i would uh release dean ambrose push seth rollins and repackage roman reigns but that's it for the pwf empire live hosting panel we would love it if you guys would let us know what you think who would you push repackage release Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns. Go ahead, let us know that. You could uh, tweet with the hashtag PWF Empire or whatever way that you want to interact with us and let us know your thoughts on that subject. You're more than welcome to do so.